One of the, uh, this is one of my pandemic projects. Um, I've actually been surprisingly productive these last two years. I guess there was nothing else to do, so I just wrote music. And uh, I'd written a few pieces and I thought, I've got this wonderfully original idea. I'm going to write four pieces according to the four seasons. And um, of course, uh, well, <laughs> the only, uh, one original thing is that, is that as you see, the, uh, I, uh, the seasons are out of the usual order. I start with summer. And the other, th the strange thing is also that living in Florida, seasons really <laughs> don't have all that much relevance. <laughs> so I guess I was channeling or, you know, remembering my former, my life in, in New Zealand and, and in other places, including Rochester, New York. Um, though the, uh, well, going, going through the seasons, the first one, um, endless summers, well, that, that, that would be fine for for uh, Florida and for Orlando. Um, it's, there are three little pictures in one, basically. Uh, the first one is the kind of languid uh, feeling of um, not enough energy to do anything, a, a kind of hot, sultry afternoon. Uh, so that, that, it's a Florida afternoon, okay? The second one, uh, I have a, had a feeling of kind of ritual about it, like the summer solstice. So the feeling of uh, how summer has been celebrated for, for millennia. Um, so that's definitely not a Florida thing. Uh, um, and then the third one is uh, slightly humorous, the kind of roll out the barrel kind of feel to it. You know, the, the, uh, the season of celebrations and parties and, and sociability. Uh, moving to the next one, um, the, uh, what did I call it? Autumn's warm breath. That's um, uh, ki a kind of twisted uh, qu quotation from Whitman, Whitman's uh, description of autumn. And, uh, and there's a bit of Keats too, the idea of, of, of warmth, but of, of that everything is temporary. There are sort of little chill, chill breezes that perhaps you'll hear uh, coming through there. So it's a hymn of autumn, but um, uh, yeah, with, with the little undercurrents that work their way through the piece. Uh, the third one is uh, winter, winter, winter morning. And I really had to remember my time back in, in uh, Rochester, New York for this one. You know, the, the first, uh, first winter there, I sort of looked out the wind, window and this beautiful scene of white everywhere. And I thought, this is just so amazing. I stepped outside, and that, that was the moment I realized I had a hole in my shoe. And, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you know, the, the thing about w winter there is the stillness, the absolute stillness, like nature's been put on hold. And, uh, and, uh, but then there are things like, you know, you, uh, animals have to eat, so there's a sort of, uh, maybe you could hear perhaps uh, a, a chase going on through the snow. And then there's also the idea of walking through the snow, the clumsiness of, the, uh, of taking big footsteps and things like that. These are, I didn't think of these literally. These descriptions for all these seasons came to me afterwards. So uh, if they sound a bit clunky, it's me trying to analyze what I was thinking. So I'm not exactly sure, you know, the music is the music, but um, this, to, my, to the best of my ability, this is what I was thinking of at, at a subconscious level. Right, the last one is coiled spring. And the thing about spring is, especially in the northern or in temperate zones, is the energy. The idea that everything is going to burst forth. These buds waiting to burst forth, you know. Birds, uh, eggs hatching, you know. E extraordinary energy. And I tried to capture some of that in, in this last movement. Thank you.
This project was made possible by our season sponsors, Orange County, United Arts, the State of Florida, and ACS. Our wonderful board members, we thank our donors and members, as well as our business sponsors. Please thank them for their support for Timuqua.